great. That $12,000 bank. Is this one of them? Or is it this one? Or this one? We'll find out in a moment in this game of hide and seek as these nine celebrities. Avery Schreiber. officer, now a private investigator, meets Dawn Jones. Right. Honey Newhan and Dawn Jones, and the Dawn is Z-A-U-N, right? Right. And the Jones is... Who knows? <laughs> right. A quick explanation to break the bank. Here's what a typical board might look like. All the same denominations of money are grouped together and touch each other along one of the sides. Now, the five money bags are scattered all over... The wild box is anywhere. It can be used for any value. Get three of the same and you win. Get three money bags and you break the bank, which we're starting today, at $12,000. We'll play that game after this. our show last time out, our game uh, was interrupted, and here's what the board looked like. Uh, Champ Connie went over there and found one that number nine was a blank, and so that meant it came over now to Don Jones, and we start with you, Don. Take another box. I'm going to number eight. Number eight. He wants right next door. Could we see box number eight? And there's a wild card. Oh. You must come up with the right answer, and that is connected to Jan Murray and to Bob Crane, and Jan, here's your question. When Rip Van Winkle woke up after his hundred years sleep, he found that something of his had turned rusty. What had gotten rusty? <laughs> it not only got rusty, it almost fell off altogether. <laughs> Was his hubcaps. No, <laughs> uh, so he had no car. You know, <laughs> after sleep... Are we on the air? I hope so. That's why I cooled off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when Rip Van Winkle, believe this or not, when he when he awakened after 20 years of sleep, he found his rifle was rusty. And it was very disturbing to him. Yeah. Well, okay. it's in case mugglers or something came around. You know, like, of course. Bob? Huh? Yes, sir. What was rusty? Oh. Uh, you know, I, in the I Ichabod Crane, my uncle, had the same problem. He had to have his surgically removed. Uh, <laughs> It was his belt buckle he had surgically removed. Don, rifle or belt buckle? Uh, I'm going to go with belt buckle. Ooh. You are? Yeah. <laughs> it was his rifle. Yeah. <laughs> so that means that, uh, Connie, should we turn that box around or do you want the same one? Well, I'm going to stick with number eight. So we'll stick with number eight. And uh, here's another question now for Jan and for Bob. Uh, Jan, if you sleep at night and you're active during the day, you are diurnal. Now, what are you if you... <laughs> You sleep during the day and you're active during the night. <laughs> well, you're either pooped or pregnant. <laughs> no, if you're you're diurnal when you sleep at night. Well, when you're active during the day, you are diurnal. Right. Now, what are you if you sleep, sleep during, during the day, day and then active oh, during the night? Well, that's that diurnal. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's my answer. That's, that's, right. that's, that's what's true. Gotcha, Bob. I don't know, uh, nocturnal? Nocturnal. Connie, Connie, what do you think? Biurnal or nocturnal? If you're active at night, is it? Yeah, true? if you if you sleep during the day and you're active during the night, Jan says you're biurnal and Bob says you're nocturnal. You're nocturnal. You're right, you're nocturnal. Mm 
number four. Number four she would like next. Can we see box number four? There's a three hundred dollar box. Oh. And this is the and Alice Wilson. Our Ruth, which is the largest of all continents, Ruth? The largest. Uh huh. Asia. Alice Goldsmith. No, Africa. Connie. Asia. Asia's right. You now have two three hundred dollar bucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Connie. Number five for three hundred. Right. Yes, and if this is a three hundred, and if you get it successfully, you can win the game nine hundred dollars. If we see box number five, it is a three hundred dollar box. Connected to Jimmy Walker and to Alice Ghostly. This is for the game of $900, Jimmy. How many children did George Washington, the father of our country, father? Uh, I don't want to spread rumors. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, four. Alice Ghostly. None. All right, Connie, this is for the game $900 and a special prize. Is it four or none? Four. No, ma'am. None is the answer. The game is still alive, Don Jones. What are you going to do here, Don? I'm going to try number five. Number five. All right, he wants that for a block, obviously. And so here we go with Jimmy Walker and with Alice. Uh, Jimmy, who has the largest navy in the world? Hey, do we know that guy? The United States. Alice Ghostly. Russia. All right, Don Jones. United States of Russia. United States. Right, you are. Now you're in the game. Number five. 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 Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 2,100 years ago. All right, Bob Crane. 4,700 years ago. John? I'm going to go with 4,700 years ago. You went right. That's correct. 4,700 years ago. Now you have two three hundred dollar boxes. You have her successfully blocked in that category, and now what are you going to do? I'm going to go with number 14. He wants 14. Could we see box 14, please? There's a money bag. Get two more of those and you break the bank at $12,000. If you take it, though, you forfeit your turn, or you can refuse it and keep on playing. I think I'm going to forfeit it. All right. And Which box next? Go to number 16. Number 16. Could we see box number 16? And you found another pussy bag. Whoa! Oh, hey, buddy, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. What do you think? Uh, I'm going to turn it back. All right. Which box? Next. I'm going to go with number one. Number one. Up in the upper left-hand corner, could we see box number one, please? There is a blank, and we're back now. There's Connie Newhand, who has a one. What am I doing here? <laughs> number two. Please. Number two. Could we see box number two? And there is a money bag. You have one wild card, and that, in effect, would mean two money bags for you if you want to keep it. What do you want to do, Connie? I'm going to keep it. She's going to keep it. You now have two money bags. Don Jones in a moment. Map your strategy, Mr. Jones. We'll give you a little break. Be right back. Don't go away, folks. Our departing contestants will receive a special variety of family-pleasing desserts from the W.T. Raleigh Company, a friend of the family since 1889. W.T. Raleigh. Plus, Sea Breeze for a clean complexion and to help remove all the dirt. So every time you wash, wash again with Sea Breeze and Lipton make a better burger. Nutritious soy protein with a Lipton seasoning touch makes ground beef go twice as far and tastes better. Make a better burger. All right, now, uh, Connie, they only have one money bag showing in front of you right now. We owe you one more because you have that wild card. And so you, in effect, there you have two money bags, one more, and she breaks the bank at $12,000. Meanwhile, <laughs> control of the game is with Don Jones, private investigator. Mr. Jones. Let's try number six. Number six, he says. Can we see box number six? He's trying to carve out a career here, and he found a $100 box. 
And that is connected to Avery Schreiber and to Bob Crane. And Avery, here's your question. What is it the Greek Orthodox priest may do before he's ordained, but not after he's ordained? No, I think the answer is uh, they're not allowed to dance. Bob Crane. Get married. Don. I want to say get married. Right, right. Get married is it. You have a $100 box. Take it out of the box, Don. Number seven. Number seven. Looking for another 100. Did he? Box number seven, please. Looking for another 100. And he found it. And that is connected to Louis Torres and to Bob Green. All right, Louis. People Magazine reports that Glenn Ford is fighting City Hall because he wants to keep something at his home that Beverly Hill says is too noisy. What is Glenn trying to keep? Charo. <laughs> No, I read that article, too. He was keeping macaws, and everybody started complaining. Bob Crane? Believe it or not, in Beverly Hills, Glenn Ford is try trying to keep chickens. Don? What was the answer? Macaws or chickens? What's Glenn Ford trying to keep? One is the truth, and the other one is the mislead. Let's pick the right one. <laughs> macaws or chickens? And you say... I'm going to take a chance with chickens. That's right, chickens is it. You now have three $100 boxes. If you find the third $100 box, you can win this game, Don. Take a box. Well, he knows they touch on at least one side. He has a 50-50 chance. Could we see box number 12? Did he find it? It's a money bag. Ooh, the you bank. can have it. <laughs> All right, he's going to refuse I'll that. I'll take number 11. He wants number 11. So here we go with box number 11, which, of course, is... A box number 11 is a $100 box. All right, this can mean the game for you now. And $300. Now, that box is connected to Avery Schreiber and Janae Dubois. Avery, here is your question. What is the sea cucumber? You wouldn't believe this. <laughs> but a sea cucumber is an animal. Janet Dubois. It's a vegetable. This is for the game. No, salt on $300. it. $300. I'm going to go with vegetables. No, sir, it mm. is an animal. Uh, and it's no animal. Now, Connie has, in effect, two money bags. If she finds and gets the mm. third one, well, if she finds the third one, uh, she breaks the bank for $12,000. Which box do you want, oh, honey? Number 12. Did we see 12? Is he broke the shaking her head. She can't believe it. She just broke the bank for $12,000. She has a that plus the clothes, a trip to Arizona, and a grand total of $13,790. Oh. She can't believe it happened. That's 
not so great. She's been on almost eight minutes. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, she's lagging a little bit. Hubby couldn't be with her. He's out on the road. And her little one, Sarah, is six. And David, two and a half. So they couldn't be here. But you know who's in the audience? Oh. Her mom and dad. Oh. Oh. Tommy works for a mail delivery service, and his hobbies are skiing, golf, and tennis. Meet Bill Cox. Hey, Bill, welcome. <laughs> and Bill, I want to congratulate you. You're with the mail delivery service, and we appreciate the fact you got here on time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll go with number 18. All right, number 18 he won. Can we see box number 18? <laughs> Off with a brand new game. And of course, the bank is $5,000, folks. That's the $100 box there, Bill. And that's connected to Jan Murray and Mickey Dolan's, and here's how it goes. We're going to give you a question here as soon as I get it. Jan, here's your question. All right. You have the upper body of a man and the lower body of a horse. What are you? <laughs> Tell him. I don't know, but I bet I'm the hit of the steam room. <laughs> asking a jackass like me a question like that. I, you know, no, that's, I'm, I'm Pegasus. I'm a Pegasus. It's known as. Mickey Dolan. Yeah, centaur. I'll go with Centaur. Centaur's right, Bill. Yes, sir. Number 19. All right. You're looking for another 100. Let's see if you found it. Box number 19 is a blank back now to money bag. I mean, Connie. <laughs> number 8. Number 8. Could we see box number 8, please? Oh, oh, hello there, Bill. I'll go with number 14. Number 14. All right. Box number 14. Looking for another 100. Did he find it? Oh, there's the money bag. Our bank is at $5,000. Get three of those and you break the bank, or you can refuse it and keep on playing. I'll keep on playing. Okay, which box then? I'll go for number 13. He's looking for the hundreds. Let's look at number 13. May we? May we? Yes. It's a $100 box. This is a jammer and today to Dubois. Jan, according to Ben Franklin, a small leak can what? Can ruin a large water bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, Ben Franklin, so is this. A small leak can sink a ship. Uh-huh. The name of what? A small leak can um, cause a flood. No. I'll go with sink a ship. That's correct. Sink a large ship. Sink a large ship. Now, Bill Cox, you have two $100 boxes. If you successfully get the third, you win the game at $300 and take the box. I'm going for the win with number 12. Number 12, he wants Did he find the third. If this is the third, you win the game. $300 in a special prize. Let's see, box number 12. Oh. <laughs> Honey, new hand, you're still alive. Number 17 for the box. All right, number 17, she wants. She knows it's got to be the $100 box. And could we see that, please? She is attempting to block. And, of course, in order to do that, she must come up with the correct answer. Here is the question for Liz Torres and Mickey Dolan. Liz, which was the last state to be admitted to the Union. The last state was Alaska. Thank you, Mickey. <laughs> Hawaii. All right, honey, for the successful block, was it Alaska or Hawaii? Hawaii. Hawaii is right. You now have the $100 box. You have to go block unless you get the wild card. Take another box. Number nine, please. Number nine. County wants number nine. Can we see box number nine? There's a $300 box and it's connected to Rue McClanahan and to Bob Crane. And Rue, here is your question. Fingerprints identify you. What is the common method used to identify your dog? Paw print. Paw, paw print. All righty, paw, paw print. print. Uh, Bob Crane? To, to, to identify your what? What is the common method used to identify your dog? A tattoo. Connie? Connie, is it, uh, is it, oh, I just wanted to, is it all print or a tattoo? I'll go with tattoo. That is correct. That is a common method you need to identify your dog. You can have a dog. Number four, please. Number four, she would like next, looking for another 300, and let's see what she found. About it. All right, all right, Bill. And just a second, Bill, before you give me your next choice, we'll have these choice words for you. Be right back. Now, Bill Cox, when we resume next, incidentally, we won't be with you tomorrow, but we'll be back on Friday. 
and Bill will uh, make the next choice, okay? We'll resume the game where we left off today. And uh, so you rest well, and you count your money, and uh, they'll both be back. And we're really having a ball with these nine beautiful stars this week. And one of our stars, uh, Jimmy Walker, is currently at uh, Tahoe. I am finishing a very successful engagement with Mr. Al Green, and we'll be opening June 1st at Painters Mill in Oldsburg, Maryland, with John Davidson. Hey, that's hey. Dashing young man, Avery Schreiber, is uh, starring in an upcoming movie. I think it's going to be in release next month called The Swashbuckler. You bet. And if you've ever had your buckle swash, you know how much fun that can be. Avery, we'll look for it. See you guys on Friday. Hey. And we'll look for you with a bank at $5,000. Be good to yourself. See you later. Bye-bye. Our departing contestants will beautify anything paintable with Dedura spray paint. Fast drying, rust preventing, dirty, exciting colors, Dedura. Your best dollar value in spray paints, and however you like chocolate, there's a chunky for you. Four delicious different family size bars. Famous original chunky or new peanut chunky, plus pecan chunky and solid milk chocolate chunky. Extra thick for extra flavor breaks into 24 thick bite-sized pieces. Chunky, thicker or chocolate? <laughs>